my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my gift guide for toddlers. Almost all of these items you are going to be able to purchase off of Amazon, which is going to make your shopping super easy and super convenient. Also, most of these items are going to be gender neutral. Sometimes I'll show something that's pink, but they also have other colors. So keep that in mind as well. I have a little girl, but a lot of these items could be used for either gender. So I will have everything linked below for easy access. You guys can easily check out what I share. If you guys are new to my channel, I have a daughter who is just about three years old. She actually has a December birthday. So not only am I having to prepare for Christmas, I'm also having to prepare and make sure she has a good birthday as well. If you enjoy holiday gift guide videos like this, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, please make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below. I have more gift guide videos coming up. I have a women's gift guide, maybe a men's gift guide. And then I think I'm going to do something stocking stuffer related as well. Stockings are always my favorite part. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. So the first two items I'm going to share are actually items that I personally got my daughter for her birthday, um, but they would be awesome holiday gifts as well. The very first item is from the Disney stores. I got her a Rapunzel princess dress. And the reason I got her this specific dress is because we are having a Rapunzel themed birthday. We're having it at an event. Rapunzel's gonna be there. But I wanted to get her a special Rapunzel dress. So this is gonna be one of the gifts she opens. And then this is also gonna be what she wears to her birthday party. So that was kind of a gift I was gonna have to buy regardless. But I know she's gonna be excited to get that Rapunzel dress. This gift right here is something she hasn't asked for, but I think she's going to love. If you are new here, I am recently divorced. My daughter and I just moved into a new apartment and we're on the fourth floor. We have a puppy, not a puppy, he's four years old, but we have to take him outside and she always rides her bike. And I wanted to get her something a little bit different that she could also use when we go outside to take him potty. So I got her a scooter and this is a three-wheeled scooter, as you can see. And um, she hasn't seen this yet, but I just opened it and put it together just so I could show you guys. This lights up, by the way. Her wheel lights up, right? Yeah, the wheel lights up red. It's puppy dog themed. Um, it's like a light pink color too. But there's like a puppy dog there. There's a brake back here. And then the handle does adjust. So you can have it go up or down depending on what level they need it at. But I think she's going to love this. She's never used a scooter before, so we will have to kind of work on that. But I'm sure she'll pick it up pretty fast and I think this is an awesome gift. I got this on Amazon, I think for about $50 or something like that, but there was a coupon that I was able to check off and apply um, that saved me $15. So I ended up spending like 35 bucks on this. Okay, this is so heavy. This is what I got Scarlett for Christmas. This is like her big gift, her big gift. This is a dollhouse and it's like a pretty big sized dollhouse. So um, it is gonna be larger. She has never really played with dolls, but I think this is something that she's going to love. She's really into Polly Pockets right now, like playing with little Polly Pockets and Hatchimals. And so I think she'll love like setting them up on this. And um, I don't know, I feel like she's gonna think it's so fun. So I love this, it's by Kids Craft. It's the artist, what is it? The Artisan Chic um, Collection, and it's such a cute house. Like this is the cutest dollhouse ever. It's super modernized. Like I want my house to look like this dollhouse. It's so cute. Okay, I had to set that down, it was way too big, but a dollhouse would be a great Christmas gift. You could already have that set up by the Christmas tree. So come Christmas morning, when they come running down the stairs at the Christmas tree, they see this beautiful dollhouse. Like I feel like that's just such a magical moment. and. That's what I'm hoping to achieve with Scarlett and Christmas this year. I think that's gonna be like a huge surprise to her. So I also had a $100 Shop Disney gift card I needed to spend and I've been saving that to use for Christmas for Scarlett. So I actually placed an order at Disney as well, which those items are not in yet, but I will leave little screenshots here showing you guys what they are. If you guys stick around and subscribe and watch my vlogs, I'll make sure to share them in vlogs so if you wanna see the items up close. But for Christmas under the tree, she's going to have that dollhouse and then she's also gonna have these items. So I got a new pair of pajamas. I think I got the pajamas for under $12. Every time we go into Disney, she always plays with this Figaro, Figaro pet carrier playset. And it's basically like the little, um, the kitty cat from Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and it's like a carrier and she loves that kind of stuff. So I did get her that. She's going to be super excited. I totally forgot I got her this. I think I'm going to give this to her for her birthday too, but it's a Rapunzel Deluxe styling head. So basically it's a big head of Rapunzel with hair and Scarlett's really been into like trying to braid hair recently and I feel like she's gonna love that. 
So I forgot that I bought that because I'm gonna put that with her Rapunzel dress. So that'll be kind of like a Rapunzel theme before her birthday. So for her birthday, she's getting the Rapunzel head, the Rapunzel dress, and then the fun scooter. So those will be her three birthday gifts. Totally forgot about that. The other thing I got her for Christmas from Disney was a Disney Animators Collection tea set. So it's just a little tea set. Um, she loves playing make-believe and with food and drinks and stuff like that. My mom got her a little kitchen actually for her birthday as an early birthday present. And so I figured that little tea set would be fun. And then the last thing that I got for her was a bath set, which I actually might use this bath set in her stocking. I did get the, um, the Little Mermaid bath set too. So I think I might put some of that stuff in her stocking. We will see. And then the last thing that I got her, which I think might go in her stocking as well. She's obsessed with Hatchimals right now. So obsessed. So I did place an order on Amazon just to get this little, um, it's like an egg carton of the Hatchimals. So I don't know if this is gonna go in her stocking or not, or if I'm gonna wrap this as a gift, but um, that is it. That concludes everything she's getting for her birthday slash Christmas. I know there's always last minute things that I end up getting, so who knows if that'll be the end of it, but for the most part, that is what I'm gonna be doing for her. Anyways, I have a list of items that I still wanna share with you guys of items that I think would be a great gift idea for your toddler. Like I said, we already own some of these items, so I know firsthand that Scarlett loves them. So the very first thing I wanna talk about is the Stomp Rocket. Oh my gosh, she loves this. She has so much fun with this. It's so simple. I think you can get this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. It's like a little tripod with a tube. You put the rocket on it and then you have to jump on the airbag and it shoots the rocket up into the sky. Like it goes high. She loves it. She has so much fun with this. It's a great way to get her outside. It is STEM focused too. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. They have a couple different versions of this too. We just have like the basic version, but it's so good. I This is a great gift for boys or for girls. So we've actually had this for a while. We have um, two of these. She's been playing with the other one. It's a reusable um, sticker pad. I haven't opened this one yet, so I might just wrap this too and put it under the tree because I'm sure she's forgot about it by now. So I'm thinking I might repurpose this gift. Don't judge me. But these things are so cool. If you have not seen the Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pads, they're great, but these are super inexpensive. I think I got both of these for under $15, probably even under $10, I don't remember, but they're really, really inexpensive and they're a good busy activity. Okay, so the next item would be something more personalized and that is a name puzzle. I've really been working with her trying to get her to learn how to spell her name. She's kind of catching on, but this puzzle has been a huge hit. This would be a great gift to give as well. Anything personalized. My girlfriend has this really cute personalized stool like this too, um, which I always have loved. I'm gonna link that because I really want one for Scarlett and I think that would also be a really good gift, but it's basically her name just like this, but in a stool form. So another toy that Scarlett's been loving are um, like these giant Legos. So they're just, they're literally by Lego, but they're the big ones. And every single time I take her to the gym, this is like the number one thing she plays with. She usually starts there and she's there when I pick her up. Like she loves playing with these giant Legos. They've been a huge hit. So I'm sure any kid her age is going to love something like this. I think you can get like an entire set for 25-ish dollars or something like that. If you guys don't have giant Legos like this for your toddler, this would be a really good gift. Okay, so this next item my dad actually bought for Scarlett um, at the mall kiosk, but I found a link on Amazon for this exact set too. I think it's about $25, but this is what it looks like. It's kinetic sand, but the cool thing about this is it comes in like this little kit, um, and then it comes with all the kinetic sand and this little blow up thing, which makes keeping the kinetic sand cleaned up so much easier. And it also came with like a bunch of little like castle things and I don't know. The cool thing about kinetic sand is it doesn't dry out. So if you don't know what kinetic sand is, basically it's sand that doesn't dry out. It uh, literally like stays moldable. Um, we've had this out for probably mm, close to two months, it, but it's a great sensory activity, a great way for them to keep busy and be, um, you know, let their little brains work and be creative. And this has just been such a big hit with Scarlett. I know this would be a great gift to give your toddler. Okay, the next thing Scarlett's been loving, and I actually get questions about these quite a bit when you guys see these on Instagram, but it's just this cute little wooden cupcake set. So this is actually from a company called Dojo Mama and Bebe, but I did find some similar ones on Amazon. Um, basically, they're just these little cupcakes that have Velcro, these ones do at least, and they just come apart like that. So Scarlett loves playing with her cupcakes. We play with the kitchen, we bake them, um, let her imagination soar, and she loves playing with this. Those are all the physical items I have to share with you guys. Next, I'm gonna just share a couple items that are in my Amazon cart that I haven't purchased yet, but I definitely am interested in, and I think they would be a great gift idea. 
The first thing are these wood lacing beads. They're a great stimulation toy. They're a great way to really work on hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. Basically, all they are are these like shoestrings and these wooden beads. And they just string on the beads and it's a good busy activity that is also super productive in their development. And um, it's something I've been wanting to get Scarlet for a while, so I probably will end up buying these. Obviously, you do not want to purchase this gift if your child is not past the oral fascination phase. If they're still putting items in their mouth, this would not be something good to get because this could be a serious choking hazard. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out there. The next item that I've been wanting to get her is a magnetic fishing game. We actually have a magnetic fishing puzzle, which she really does like, but I think she would love this game. They have a fishing pole with a magnet on the end and they have to you know, pull up the fish and um, yeah, it, it basically is what it says. But again, this works on hand-eye coordination. This is a productive toy. Okay, so this has been in my cart for probably the past year and I still haven't bought it, but this is a wood counting like with shapes and numbers. Basically, there's different pegs with your numbers and then um, just like a bunch of like little wooden pieces and you can count them. I mean, there's so many different things you could do with this. You could work on colors, you could work on counting, you could work on um, recognizing patterns, that kind of stuff. So I think this would be a really good learning toy. And so the very last item I'm gonna share with you is a tablet. We are a tablet family. I'm very into STEAM and STEM focused activities. I'm very into sensory play. I'm very into, you know, getting her outside and playing outside, but I'm also not against screen time. I find it very educational depending on what they're watching and what they're doing. I find the games to be very educational. I feel like she's taken a lot um, and learned a lot from games on the tablet. So I have nothing against screen time. I'm totally for it, actually. Everything's great in moderation. But we have the Amazon free time. Um, I got this during Amazon Prime Day. I got this for a really good deal. We had an iPad prior to this, and I liked the iPad. However, this has a little bit more um, like control over it. Maybe I didn't have the right programs downloaded on iPad either. That could be it. But um, I've liked this. I like the size of it. it pretty inexpensive. It comes in this case. So this case comes with it. So what you see is what you get when you buy it, which is really nice. Plus I like the fact that I can actually add a memory card to this to give it more space. My iPad kept running out of space, which was driving me crazy. So that's like the number one thing that um, was like sold me on this is the fact that you can add additional storage. The one thing I don't like about this tablet is there's two different profiles. There's like the kids profile, Scarlett's profile, and then there's my profile. But unless I'm doing something wrong and somebody knows something differently, if, and if you do, please DM me on Instagram. But um, you have to switch over from the kids profile to the adult profile in order to watch a movie or something. So if I wanted to turn on um, the Little Mermaid for her or something, I'd have to switch over to that profile. So she'd have to actually give me the iPad, I'd have to switch over, and then she'd be on my profile. I wish there was a way I didn't have to do that. But overall, I really like this, and yes, I would recommend it. Okay guys, that wraps up everything I have to share for my toddler gift guide for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I will have other gift guides up on my channel, so I hope you guys check those out. Do not forget to check out the links down below. I will have everything I talked about linked so you guys have easy access to it. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I hope this sparked some ideas for gifts for your family, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.